Okay, Wednesday morning, and Johnny has an email to say if there's any beer coming our way. We're not sure. I might have to drink more of that gin. Also, too, it was all due this morning, so I used the windshield wipers on the 67 and the 69 to check out the pattern. Yes, the 69 with the longer windshield wipers off the head hanger work a lot better for me sitting in the seat. I can see out the top of the windshield, whereas the 67 being a shorter blade... It kind of restricts my view. For safety, we're going to have to increase the larger, yes, the larger windshield wiper blades. Yes. Okay. Today, it's plus 12, but it's a chilly plus 12. And I mean chilly, and it's damp. Okay, but feels like plus 11. And then on the OYO scale, plus 54, but feels like plus 52. And once again, with those are the ears of the cats in the kingdom. Because they're actually the newest stuff we own. Alright. Okay, now we're going to change the sheet here. Alright. I write everything down. Alright. So those people that the exploration company, the stock market guys, were looking for lithium. Yes. Remember they did a press release. There's lithium here. 12 kilometers from Whoville. Yes. 12 kilometers. But 50 kilometers from road and power line access. Yeah. See that gives you a hint indication. So they've done a press release stating that the Who exploration in the Whoville area was fruitless. Yes. Doesn't that build stock uh, stock market confidence when you're saying fruitless? Yes, another stock pump and dump. And where's Greta? They're wasting all this time and energy wandering around, flying helicopters, all this crap to do nothing. All they did was stock pump and dump. Oh, well. Also, too, the fellow got those plasma tips. So that's pretty good. Me sending him something obsolete. That way he can keep his obsolete plasma cutter going until it offends him, upsets him, and he gets mad and has to drive it over with a cat, a vehicle, the wife's car, or even his lawnmower. Yes! So that's good to know that the post office didn't screw up and he got the, 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 oops, the tips for his plasma cutter to keep it going because they were getting hard and expensive to get. Also, too, the flags are doing very well up there. Today we have to work on this fender on this truck. We have to get it done before my little mind or brain forgets what I did. Okay, I'm going to have a hard enough time remembering. Oh, the thing went there. Oh, I got to touch the screen. There, I touched the screen. You guys okay there? Yeah, I touched you. Yeah, with this finger. Okay, all right. So I got to think about what I did on one side to do on the other side because it's going to be opposite. So this did tell me, this me phone's telling me I forgot to charge it last night because I enjoyed a really good meal of pork chops, mushrooms, carrots, pickles, and onions and potatoes. So I kind of indulged in food and beverage. So I kind of passed out, I mean, fell asleep and forgot to charge the me, me phone. So it's going to have issues here, which is okay. Also too, in the skies here, I don't know if we can see anything. All right. There's two 747 jet airplanes left Anchorage, Alaska, and they're going to New York and Cincinnati. So it's Kaliti, Kaliti, Kalati, Kaliti Airways. Okay, there's those guys that drag raced in the 70s when we were growing up with uh, Shirley Maldoni, Don Garlitz, all that kind of stuff. So it's Connie Coletti, the bounty hunter. Oh my goodness, I'm screwing up the poor guy's name. I'm making it sound like some woman's sexual part that men can't find in the darkness of the room. Oh well, hopefully Connie forgives me for uh, brutalizing it. But he's getting free marketing here at the end of the world as we watch his two jet aircrafts fly over the kingdom and heading. All I have to do is watch Flight Tracker to see that one has made a flight correction or course altercation or alternation or cation. Altercation. Uh, whatever. Just turns. He turns. Okay. Over Whoville, he turns. So that way he's heading to New York. Yes. So we know and we watch and we listen. Because right now the skies, it's so clear and calm that we can hear everything. Even the people of Whoville and their hatred towards me. I can hear them talking. Oh, well, they'll get over it. I'm still traumatic, having traumatic things and thoughts of going to Whoville yesterday to haul a load of water. And I have to do it sober. 
Yes, because of the laws of drinking and driving. Yes, so that's pretty bad. All right, I better go. Here comes the boss. Okay, after lunch in the kingdom because my me phone died this morning when I had to touch the screen and touch you guys out there in uh, Never Never Land. Okay, so I charged it up. All right, so we're back to work here. All right, people are asking what's in the tank shed here. There's a sign tank shed here. So this is what we had. We tossed in the 47 Dodge fenders and stuff that we salvaged from that vehicle when we scrapped it last summer or converted it into the 37 Dodge tribute vehicle for my truck. Uh, tribute truck in memory of my dad. Okay, so I also was in the shed here. We'll walk up close there. So there's the hood, the other fender. And we threw out the fenders for the 41 Chevy 4x4 truck because, you know, we're going to need those someday. So if they're in here, we might get confused and forget, okay? So this is inside the tank shed. You put pallets on the floor and it makes it a shed, okay? So here's miscellaneous parts that we never put in a trailer or anything like that. We just had to throw them to get them out of the road or whatever. And then there's the tow bar and the lights. From towing the 69 Chevy from Alberta back to the kingdom and some miscellaneous parts okay let's get to the shop okay this morning while I was waiting for the me phone to charge up not a good employee I didn't sit there and watch it I was buffing up the sucker intakes for the gas tanks on the 69 67 Chevy's I smoothed it out so there's no problems of damage or me hurting myself installing plus we buffed up the round plates for the gas gauges and we're kind of figuring on mounting them like this. They don't have to be perfectly level because we can mount them at a slight angle and then bend the uppy down stick so it'll work out. So over here, okay, a walk and talk video because you guys need your exercise. If not, have a drink and watch me walk. All right, there's the front fender for the 47 Dodge two-door sedan. It's American steel, so it'll be sacrificed to put an American truck on the road. Yes. The 67 Chevy and also too we have no idea why the battery or on the other side the battery naturally rusts the inner fender out so over here the battery or something rusted it out can you see my feet down there yeah okay all right so we can't figure that out so we'll make a plate over also too it's going to be a good day I put some new covers on my shoes. Yes, I put duct tape over my shoes to cover them. So that way the sparks can, uh, how would you say, hit the, hit the duct tape first. All right, so now we have to weld up in here, which should be fun. That's why I wait till after lunch. That way I roll around and I can have a nap at the same time. We got a little bit of welds here and just a small hole down there, which I think I can just put a patch over and create lots of booger welds. Okay, the staff box dropped off another box of Rock Auto. We got a nice colorful magnet here. Ooh, that's a fancy car, something I will never own or drive up here. Oh, you guys can see it because of the glare. We got some brake hoses and stuff like that. But the funny thing is, this looks like what we already have in stock because everything's running different part numbers and names and everything like that nowadays. It's all the same part tossed into uh, people put their different names on. Okay, we got two of the front wheel seals. For the, when we do the brakes and this is what we needed we got some hanger bearings and new joints and everything the other day and this looks like something i have in stock so this is good to know once we start cross-referencing and figuring out now we can change the u joints and everything in the hanger bearing in the drive line put the rear oil seals in and put oil back in the rear end for the posi tracks because sir rodney sent us the oils and stuff and then we can go for a longer test drive than in and out of the shop Okay, it's supposed to be a hot day today of plus 30. So in theory, we should have the day off, but it's not hot. It's all lies like the weatherman said, but it's a little breezy out there and smoky. But we're in here working on this. This turned out to be a little bit bigger than I thought because it is rusted. So I've had to go for another patch over top and I'm just beating it into submission. I'm using the screw gun to apply and pull it in, but there's nothing else I can do like this is rusted. And it's not worth spending too much time making it look pretty. All I do need is these fenders to hold together so we can drive the truck and then look for better ones or take a trip to Arizona and stay in the RV and get new fenders installed. Oh yes, that would look so good coming back to Canada with black replacement fenders. Okay, we got the bumper back on with normal bolts. So in 10 years from now, we can take it off because those chrome things just spin and turn. This did not turn out very well or very pretty, but the main thing is it's done. We did the little patch up here. Okay, somebody left the tools all over the place. 
All right, so that didn't turn out very well, but we have a big hole here, a change in design where the steering box is. So I put a piece in here with a bend in it with a kink to try and give it some strength. And there was no material over here to weld to, so it kind of turned bad on me, but that's okay. We just patch it up and call it good because these are temporary. We want the thing to last so we can get this vehicle on the road and then look for better fenders and everything. All right, but the main thing is, is we're getting this done. We're not sitting on the couch playing with the Xbox and drinking beer and boo-hooing. The main thing is we're getting it done. Wednesday morning in Whoville just popped out to do my morning video and I see these mushrooms growing. There's one here. We got one over here, and if we walk all the way over here, hang on, there's one down here as well. Came to check on the dogs in the back, and I see another mushroom popping out. Not sure what these guys are, we'll have to Google them and find out. And then if I walk over here, all my purple flowers that are vining up the side here are starting to sprout peas? I want to say these are some wild peas or something, I'm not sure. I'll have to take one of them off and open them up and show you guys. I was able to find a green one that's growing on the vine here with the rest of them. There's some green here. If you open it up, it kind of looks like a wild pea. So that's cool. I'm going to have to Google and see what these guys are. On my way back to the house, I popped over to see my little outside garden here. And look, you can see another mushroom growing. Not sure what this guy is, but they're all different. So I'm going to have to use Google and figure them out. Little smoky in Whoville this morning. You can kind of tell by the sun there. It's really orange and you can't really see off into the distance either. Not sure what we'll be doing today, but let's go in and make breakfast. Doing my daily gardening and I notice my little flower that's growing out of the side of the coffee tin is actually blooming. Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? I planted a bunch of pink roses in here so I'm sure that's what these guys are but I'm going to let them grow. I don't want to disturb it from the side here in case it dies so let's leave it alone and see what happens. After lunch and I just finished putting new line on my rod, doesn't that look nice? This stuff is stronger than my last line and I was running low on it, so now when I get snags it'll be even more fun to rip off and try and get them out of the rocks or wherever I'm snagged on. Growing up there was only right-handed or left-handed rods and I was always stuck with a right-handed rod because lefties aren't that common. Nowadays they have the interchangeable rods which are amazing. Got my bag all packed to go fishing this afternoon or tonight. I'm not sure when I'll go, but I'm very happy with this bag Sir Rodney sent up. It has a lot of pockets and I've been putting it to good use. And it is waterproof because I almost fell in the lake that day and it got a little wet and nothing on the inside got wet. So I'm very thankful. Came down and checked the muskeg as you can see into the distance there our trail goes across and banks into the bush it looks a lot different in the summertime doesn't it all these little trees are growing back so once the snow comes we'll have to whack them down with the drag again I'll try and get a closer look of the muskeg for you here hang on let me get walking oh look some mushrooms since i'm talking about mushrooms in all my other videos today here's a couple of little mushrooms they look like the ones i have at the house let's keep walking I don't want to get a booter, so I'm not going to go too far. Just a little ways out here for you guys. Oh, look, some more mushrooms. I don't know if you'll be able to see them in there. They're right there. Now if I pan off into the far distance here, all right, trying to do this with one hand, you can see where the muskeg is. Kind of looks like some low water levels here. Don't see any water up in front of me either, but I don't want to walk any farther. On my way back to the quad, I see some more mushrooms, and there's a couple more here. Oh, that's an upside down mushroom. I don't think I did that. I think some wildlife knocked that over. Then we got the quad. We were in here a couple months ago with the mini hoe, and we cleaned up this corner. Now it's time to head back. Do a quick little scan, see if I can find any blueberries or any berries of some sort here for you guys. Let me keep looking. Oh look, what are these guys? I'm gonna have to take some home and Google them. As you can see here, the sand flies are pretty bad. Get closer to my face so you guys can see them a little better. Look at those guys. They get in your ears, they get in everywhere, and they're so annoying, especially their bites. They are very itchy, so I guess I'll head back and go check the water hole.
came down to check the watering hole down behind the kingdom and the water looks a little low so I think we're gonna have to bring the mini hoe down here on the hoverboard and open up this little culvert or whatever my dad made in the corner here that leads all the way over to there so we can get that water flowing into the hole here and we can fill up the tanks and wash some planes and other stuff that we have to pressure wash after coffee and behind the kingdom and it's a little windy as you can see but i got everything done that i need to do now i can head back into whoville and get ready to go fishing tonight The weather today in Whoville is a windy 25 degrees Celsius, which is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can see out there, the clouds are trying to roll in, but you can't really tell because of all the smoke that's in the air. You still can't see off into the distance over there either, so it's time to go inside and let the dogs out and get ready to make supper. For supper, I'm having mashed potatoes with baby carrots that I like to cut up beforehand. That way they're easier to eat and cook faster. And I also got pork chops that were on sale yesterday. I just cut them up and cooked them with some barbecue sauce. Now it's time to eat supper and end my day. Okay, 5 o'clock in the kingdom. We're quitting early again today. We got things to do. There's no sense working hard when this threat's just nothing but a struggle today. But oh well, we're working on trucks that are 60 years old with, with the tools and materials that we have. And look at the flags. They're kind of kind of tangled up but having fun. Alright, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, and make a video. Talk to you later.